And another major move from the president today, decertifying the Iran nuclear agreement, telling Congress to impose new sanctions or he'll leave the deal completely. Swift reaction from many U.S. allies tonight, and here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Defying some of America's closest allies and even some of his own advisors, the president today declared that Iran is not keeping its Thank side of the nuclear much. agreement negotiated under President Hello, Obama. Americans. The Iran deal was one of the worst and most one-sided transactions the United States has ever entered into. The president called on Congress to impose new sanctions on Iran if it does not curb its missile program and its support for terrorism, things not covered under the nuclear agreement. The Iranian regime continues to fuel conflict, terror, and turmoil throughout the Middle East and beyond. Importantly, Iran is not living up to the spirit of the deal. But President Trump stopped short of doing what he had said he would do during the campaign get out of the deal, a step that would give Iran the green light to restart its nuclear weapons program. Mr. President, you, you had said you were going to rip the Iran deal up and you called it the worst ever. Well, I may do that. I may do that. The deal is terrible. So what we've done is through the certification process, we'll have Congress take a look at it and I may very well do that. Even before the president spoke, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson had been working the phones to reassure European allies who are firmly committed to the Iran deal. So let's get to John Carl live at the White House tonight. And John, Secretary Tillerson, as you point out there, given the task of calling our allies, what, he's hearing, what is he hearing on the other end of the line? Well, they're not particularly happy with the president's actions, but after those conversations, what's notable is that France, Germany, and the UK did not directly criticize the president and said they would work with the United States on curbing Iran's support for terrorism and its missile program. David, as for Iran, the Iranian president said that the United States is completely alone on this, but the Iranians said that they will stay in the agreement, at least for now. David? John Carl at the White House on a Friday night for us. Thank you, John.